Hi, welcome to our channel. Today I am going to explain about how to generate uh, reports after doing the load test. See, like usually how we are seeing, we are able to see the results in the, using the view results tree or aggregate report in the R aggregate graph. Like whatever may be, like using the laziness, we are able to see the details. But how we can generate reports like the colorful reports using all the details within the report. Okay. So uh, today I will show you how to generate that report. Okay, so for that I have taken one request like uh, this one like maybe uh, like already the performance testers who are working on performance testing. So these are the like uh, normal API like uh, for testing dummy API. So using this API I am going for the load test. I am going to test for the load test and I will generate some uh, sample test reports. Okay. So for that I have taken this request. So let me explain about these concepts like how I have added. Okay. So usually how we are uh, uh, how can I say yeah how like we are doing usually uh, using the thread group. Okay. In the thread group usually we are adding thread group and we are giving the real users and we are giving specific time and we are doing the uh, like uh, load test right. That means like we are running. So here what I have did is so the same thread loop how exactly to work so that's the same thing ultimate thread loop also it will work the same way okay so i am editing here let me remove this one okay so the same way it will work okay so first i have added the ultimate thread loop so maybe you have to like how we, i have added the ultimate thread loop so for that we need to download from here from the plugin manager just you can type ultimate thread loop so this one available already installed plugins this one so you can check in the available plugins okay so here if you type like it will come what are the like plugins like whatever maybe like the like the, like the some more business also will be there so you can like that's up to you so which one you are going to use for like uh, its percent there is lot of uh, graphs also and you can these are the, these are the plugins based on the requirement you can just uh, select and okay just uh, apply changes and restart game with a click on this one so then obviously it will, it will be uh, displayed here uh, let me show you so as of now what I have added then maybe you will get with some idea see in the listeners uh, listeners I didn't add any. yeah okay let me explain about the trade group here see here in the trade groups here you are able to see right so I have added ultimate trade group the, uh, like the plugin so here we are able to see these plugins okay this is the these are the third party plugins actually okay so then from there we can do load test okay see uh, usually uh, this one we can change uh, change the name according to it no need to uh, much worry about uh, these things okay so usually most of the people will run the load test from the gui like so okay so the load test if you are running from the gui like the ui interface that one will be applicable useful for only dry run that means like limited users like one user or ten users then it will be fine so if you are using more than like ten users then then it will be better like best way to use using the command prompt okay running the load test so okay so from there how can we run low load test using command prompt and how can we generate the reports okay so here nothing uh, you are able to see right here so in the ultimate thread group so this is a start threads count so uh, how exactly we are giving the users in the thread group you can you can divide uh, like give here uh, the users so uh, as of now i have given for the two users because while running the load from the command prompt it will take more time so that's the reason i have given two okay initial delay because maybe you are uh, initial delay means like starting the delay okay uh, initial delay means like okay so I have given here 0 startup time means ramp up time okay how exactly we are performing in the uh, what exactly we are, give, we are giving right in the thread group so here I am not doing any ramp up time and hold load for 1 second this is the timing uh, 60 seconds means for the 1 minute I am going to run the load test okay uh, using the 2 users two threads here okay this is a shutdown means like ramp up ramp down time that means like so within the 10 seconds the all the users will shut down okay here this is the graph right here you are down you are able to see right see here it will down like uh, it will run for the one second one minute and it will count for this one also the shutdown time and if you are giving the initial delay or startup time so it will count all the uh, timings in the graph then only it will perform okay <coughs> so uh, this is the one okay uh, 
first I, I forget right so here I have added the one thread group uh, called ultimate thread group so for that I have added one HTTP request okay so using that same <coughs> HTTP request I have passed the URL for this IP uh, the details and this is the path of that one and this is the post method okay I have selected post method and I have passed some payload using the body in the body okay this is the thing okay so then next uh, this is the header manager uh, why i have added the here the header manager means see this is the dummy ap right so for this one there is no authorization but in the real time we need to pass the authorization and the key like uh, the value to be token or authorization id we need to pass here okay so that will be mandatory see like if you are checking with the one services in the real time obviously there will be authorization at the token id right so we need to mention that one okay so then only uh, we can access uh, that service Okay, so this is a cookie manager. So you need to select the clear uh, cookies in each iteration in the uh, cache also. Okay, so these three, two things will be mandatory. Okay, so while doing while running the test, you need to add like uh, while recording scenario also you need to add this cookie manager and cache manager for the request. Okay, so then we will see maybe you guys all are aware about these things and the aggregate report and the aggregate graph normally like how we are adding uh, while recording all the details. So let me clear all these things, okay, uh, all the details, okay. So then uh, we can see how we need to run load test from the command prompt and how uh, after uh, finishing the load test, how the report will be generated, okay. For that, let me open the command prompt, okay. So before that, let me show you where my JMeter uh, I have moved on to here, see. So this is my C drive, I have installed here itself, I have moved Apache JMeter 5.4.1, okay. So uh, in the bin, my load test, uh, load configuration file will be there. Let me show you. See, uh, load test one dot jmx. This is the, my test plan. Let me show you from here. See, you are able to see right. Load test one dot jmx dot test plan. This is my test plan ID. Okay, uh, test plan uh, jmx file. Okay. So uh, yeah, it will be here, right? And one more thing, and I have created here uh, version yeah pro. So this one we are able to see right. So let me delete this one. Yeah, this is one previous one. Uh, one second. Yeah. Uh, let me delete this one also. Then I think after that you are able to understand this one. Okay. So here this is the empty folder. See, nothing is there in the code and I see nothing is there, right? Yeah, that will be fine. Okay, so let me open the command now and uh, let me go back to my C drive. Okay, see here where exactly. So you need to give specific like how can a particular part where exactly if we are jmeter is in the d drive okay you need to uh, mention that the d drive clearly okay and you need to mention that g drive if you are uh, installed jmeter and if your plan test plan will be there means you need to specify particular part as of now i have mentioned i have saved uh, my apache jmeter is in the file c drive so i am going to go and use a particular these details okay so let me explain you now about yeah see here this is the one thing here see this is the command for running the load test and generating the reports okay let me explain you about this one see this is the one still here it is the same apache jmeter b jmeter okay uh, is the n means like uh, n stands for like here uh, like non gui code okay and t for here the uh, like jmx file where exactly it will be there so my jmx file also will be here but as I have already shown to you, 5.4.1 slash bin slash load test one dot jmx. Here, uh, this is the one. Uh, here, L is there, right? This is the local. So in the local, I am saving that my file name here, okay? So, result one dot csv, okay? I am giving the new name here. Uh, here, one second. Yeah. Not this one. Uh, yeah. Let me explain you yeah, about this one because that one will be I have given till that there only. Okay. Yeah, let me explain you this one. Both are same. See here. Till the J meter here it, it will be the same. Bin J meter, the same I have given here, JMS. And what exactly here I have to show you, right? I have created one pro folder in that I am saving this file. Okay. Result.csv. Okay, I am doing result one dot csv. Okay, uh, pro result one because there is no file as of now. Uh, this folder will be empty. Pro. Okay, uh, this one and here my c and go here. This will be end of the output. Okay, 
So where output will be generated using the HTML report one and in the new file name here HTML report two. Where exactly in the pro HTML HTML report will be generated. So let me show you now. Uh, uh, maybe you guys maybe little bit doubt about this one. See, this is the pro direct folder and under HTML there is no files right. So once the load test is done, we are able to see the files here and the output here. Okay. Uh, let me copy and paste here. Or okay, let me run from command from here itself. Maybe you will get some clear idea about right. Uh, yeah, Apache because it will e uh, type Apache AP, then do the tab it will come automatically. Okay, slash bin slash bin. Okay, then JMeter. Okay, then give non UI mode. These are the like your JMX file. Okay, type C like C right. Yeah, C and Apache JMeter again. Okay, slash bin slash uh, location. Where is that your location? Uh, there is two files actually, so that's the result will come out of the test one dot jmx. Okay, so yeah, my style. So again, uh, c slash apache jmx slash. Yeah, here I am giving the directory name here. Sorry, not directory, uh, it will be the folder. Okay, folder name, row result. Yeah, this I am giving here new name result one dot. CSV. So let me maximize. Yeah, this is one dot CSV. This will be the format of the CSV. Okay, then I will show you in the open in the Excel also. That one also. So then, output end up the output here. Yeah, okay. C slash Apache. Here it will be Apache J. Yeah. Oh, and uh, sorry. So and there I have one full HTML. There I am generating HTML uh, report. So that's a two HTML report I have mentioned here. HTML report. Whatever it might be, you can give to see here. So one more time I'm explaining. Till here the same. So wherever you are saving the JMeter, so till here it will be the same. Okay. Bin JMeter. Okay. Then you need to provide your uh, test plan path. Particularly, and you need to save your local results file, and then the output file output file you need to mention here. Then just click on enter. It will start running here. So it, it is here. It is showing some error. You need to worry about that. It will start. I think some this error for me. I keep showing the Java. So you need to worry about that. One. No, maybe you you won't face that issue. Okay. Wait, let's wait to see. The uh, load test has started. Here you are able to see right the average response and the minimum and the maximum and the error right in the active threads. So we have derived right how many seconds for the load test we have given here for 60 seconds. That means it will take completely for 1 minute and 10 seconds. It will count for shutdown time and uh, whole load. If we are giving in GLD layer startup time also, it will take some time. Okay. So here we will be how many users? Two users. So two users will run like uh, in the loop for one minute ten seconds. Okay. So I think it's almost done here. We are not able to see any error. And I think it's working fine. Let's see. After once it's done, we are able to see here. So type something. Okay. And one more thing. Uh, we are able to see right here. After that, once after then load test, let me run from here and we can see the response of, for this request, particular request in the view registry. How exactly it will come? Okay, yeah, it's done. So, uh, what exactly I show you right here? There is no file. We have given the new name and we need to see the output. Okay, let's see. Oh, let me open the program. See, we open this one. This is the file, the CSV file, whatever we have given there, right? We can see the results of the our load test. See here, uh, this is the time and this is the elapsed, this is the name HTTP request, okay? This is the response code, okay? Uh, this is the dummy AP, right? We are able to see sometimes the response code, 301, these things, obviously, because that is a dummy AP, okay? So this is, uh, yeah, response message. So if 200, it will be okay. 301 is more permanently as usual, okay? The success and latency and the URL thread and these things are common. 
So and one more thing, what in the HTML also we have mentioned, right? HTML report. So let me open this one. See, you can see clearly here the report. Okay, we are going to see right here uh, the total. Here actually, uh, this thing we have shown only this one, but it has taken from local uh, again it, it has run across zero request one okay so this is the part the whole that you need to worry about that so you can uh, give proper test plan on the proper path so then obviously we are able to see the results here we are able to see over time and uh, all these graphs and the throughput okay and the response times and we are able to see the here, mm -hmm. here okay like what is the time percentage and the custom graphs also we can custom over time and you can see these details not to worry about yeah i think this video will be helpful for you okay so in the next video you can integrate uh, this load test with the jenkins in the jenkins how exactly we need to see it that means like see we are running from the command from manually right okay so uh, but in the real time uh, we can configure this uh, load test into jenkins so in the jenkins we are able to uh, like just click if we click on the build now, so then we are able to see build right if the build is passing we are able to see like the results in the results also where we can add performance plugin so there also we can see all this info okay yeah i hope this video is uh, helpful for you if you like this video please hit a like and subscribe button thanks for watching